our country came of age under her reign. It was Her Majesty who proclaimed and signed the Constitution Act of 1982 and our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. These pillars of our democracy help uphold the stability of our country and keep us free. A personal touch as the Prime Minister speaks during a special session of the House of Commons to memorialize Queen Elizabeth. Justin Trudeau underlining the late monarch's connection to Canada, noting that even at the end, she never shirked her responsibilities as Canada sovereign. Her final public act was a constitutional one as she invited the United Kingdom's new Prime Minister to form government. And her last public statement was one offering condolences to survivors and the loved ones of the victims in Saskatchewan. From the official opposition, new leader Pierre Polyev offering a reflection on the connections between Canada's government and the role of a monarchy some contest is no longer relevant. The authority of the Crown may in a sense be fictional, but it is also functional. You see, the separation of symbolic authority from political power allows partisan politics to be contested fearlessly without threatening the enduring constitutional order. Parties and politicians come and go, the crown endures. But more nuanced remarks from the Bloc Québécois who expressed regret at the passing of the Queen, but no interest in summoning crocodile tears. The history between the crown and the Quebec nation is both... Um, thorny and cruel. History separates us, but respect must come first and we have to distinguish institutions from the people. Bloc MPs then left the House after the moment of silence. Outside the chamber, Bloc leader Yves-Francois Blanchet more candid, suggesting it may be time for Canada to consider if it's still interested in having a monarch. Let's arrive in the 21st century and see that any power which is supposedly based on a divine right, which uh, has so much uh, influence, and is so terribly expensive might be considered as something of the past. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.